The area board in their initiative threw out a challenge um, and we constructed the egg which stands in the landscape as you will be seeing it. Um, factors that aren't so obvious, um, it has brought together the community in a way, quite unexpected way, and not just our community, it's brought Foxley and Norton together, two tiny hamlets with lots of children who go to different schools. We have no other uh, building where we can get together, um, but for this project, although we're separated by about two miles of road, um, it was brought together very well. We were absolutely delighted to receive £1,500 from the area board. Um, and we had a week of uh, workshops which were absolutely amazing. We had a representative from the BBC who gave a very good talk to the children on the reptiles that live in the walls. Um, Lloyd Howe, who talked about the age of the stone and how they could look at the stones and find out all evidence of the periods from these stones. Uh, Sam Flintham, a stone carver from Bath, who's worked on Blenheim Palace and other prestigious projects, came and did a workshop where the children carved their names in the stone and did flowers and other things that they wanted to do. Maria and Mary felt that something should be put together to celebrate the Queen's Jubilee. Um, and it gave us an opportunity to hide a time capsule inside the egg which was very exciting for the children to research the Queen, how long she'd been on the throne. Well, I liked building the egg because it was really fun and I learned a lot from it. I think it was good as it brought the whole community together and worked towards the same project with everybody involved. Yeah, it started um, from the base really. It's very difficult to get the angle, the shape of an egg using wire as an infill, you build it up gradually from the base, bringing it out quite steeply. And then as you come up, you get the shape by just by eye, basically. You can't use anything else to get it to come to the right shape. And as you come up the right egg, then you bring it back in, which is almost the easier part. It's brought everyone together. It's provided workshops for the children in which they've been able to learn about the, the, uh, the, the habitat that they live in and the Drysdale Morning, which is obviously a big part of Wiltshire's history. Um, for the adults as well, uh, we've had quite a few group things for the adults. For example, when we actually opened the egg, we had about 30 or 40 people from Foxley and Norton go up to the egg, and we had a little bit of a party. Uh, everyone brought some food for, for a picnic, and we had an official opening of the egg. And it was really nice just to see everyone, uh, most of the community, just up there together having a good time um, and kind of enjoying the egg when it was first opened. This is the Jubilee Egg! Uh, well, last year we, we put in an application for a grant for £5,000, which we um, had to match fund. And we spent that, or pro, uh, put it into the pot, into the kitty, for display equipment and stationery, which we have used. Um, and we do an awful lot of fundraising on our own. But to enable us to set up this project in the beginning, the area board, and particularly uh, Peter Dunsford and... Uh, Jim Lynch from Boacan were very instrumental in making this project happen. If we pose the question, um, has this shop had a positive effect on the community? I would say absolutely 100% yes. Uh, not only is it the shop, uh, which would give creators and uh, crafters an outlet, we also mentor people as to how you go from uh, creating something at home to the next step of selling. We have over 200 local people who put their products into the shop. Um, we have anything from 50p to maybe 2,000 pounds, which would be from wooden products to high-end sculptures. We get very much involved in the local community with um, festivals and events and raise money for good causes. Uh, one of the things is that uh, we were able to meet with um, the farmer's market, which was uh, the Wiltshire farmer's market. That was a meeting that was set up by the area board and Boacan. Um, and we were able to create a monthly market out in Lamb Yard that has now gone on for a year. 
we have probably around 300, uh, 3,000 visitors each time and it's hugely popular as a um, great promotion obviously to, uh, to Bradford Navon but also to show people what you can buy locally. Um, the area board has been very instrumental in get, getting um, the landlord and the uh, construction company and the developer to, to put on events, not only for their benefit, but to um, increase footfall into the town, which has been demonstrated over and over again. Tidworth Mums has benefited greatly from the area board support. They've um, funded some of our equipment, and uh, which allows us to put on more activities. We currently run two toddler groups during the week, um, an active play session on a Thursday, which involves lots of this big soft play equipment that they, they bought for us, and um, lots of balls and tunnels and tents and stuff, lets the children run around and be boisterous and, and have a good time, where there wasn't a lot of opportunity for that in Tidworth before. So that's really benefited the community. And we've been very fortunate to receive um, two grants from the Tidworth Area Board, the first one being approximately £1,500, which helped us to buy our soft play, which was um, for the Thursday group we run, so all the um, jumping equipment and the slides and the balls and things so that the kids could be energetic. And the second grant was approximately £2,000 and that went towards funding um, laptops so that we could administer the website and the Facebook page and also some more equipment, um, some more ride-on toys for the kids and also equipment to set up a specific baby area within the groups so that the um, mothers with young children didn't feel intimidated by toddlers running around the session. They, they had a, a proper gated off little section for the babies where the toddlers can't get into. I think Tidworth Mums has had a really positive impact on the community. Uh, it sort of brought everyone together, especially with the Facebook page. Everyone gets to have their say and, and get to know each other online before they meet in person. And also with our cupcake decorating evenings, we're um, bringing together local businesses and local people together in the evenings as well. We've provided coffee mornings for people to come to and everybody's welcome. That's something that we're 100% positive on that whether you are a grandparent, a dad, an au pair, a childminder, you've got three children under five, you've got a newborn, everybody is welcome through that door. Um, and that's a huge step for some people, it really is daunting to walk through that door and so we're there with a smile, we'd like a cup of tea, you know, and sometimes that's all it takes for people. Um, we've all been there, we all know how that feels and it, it isn't the nicest feeling in the world. And I think we've also got the added bonus that we are mums, we're not coming at this from a professional point of view. So nobody's going to ask you to fill out any paperwork, nobody's going to start preaching at you about best practice. It's, it's just there for, if you need to come and have a cup of tea, we're there to listen and we're trying to get a peer support network going a bit now as well because we, we're reaching you know, 60, 70 families a week sometimes now. So it's an awful lot. Um, our website plays a huge impact as well. We've had you know, numerous hits. It's, it's incredible what we're getting on there now and, and people saying, oh, I've seen this on the website. I get people phoning me saying, oh, I got your number off the website. Can you just tell me? And, and that's, that's great, you know, and that's showing that we, we are having an impact here. And just the Facebook page, it's been described as Tidworth's answer to Google. Um, anything and everything gets asked on there from, can you recommend me a good nursery? Can you tell me what my house looks like? People are finding the page now before they move to Tidworth. Um, suggest me a good day out, you know, anything and everything's getting asked on there. And it, when it first began, it was us answering those questions, us providing those contact numbers for people that they needed. It's not like that anymore. We're now there just policing it, making sure that it's there for the community. It's not having personal or political or business advertising on there because we're very key that it is for the community. Um, and we're actually at nearly 950 members now. So, yeah, huge impact. So at Wotton Bassett Carnival, we applied for a grant from the Area Board and we were fortunate enough to get uh, £2,580 worth of funding, um, which benefited the Carnival Committee because we could then go out to all the schools in Royal Wotton Bassett, all five schools, and offer them a whole day's training with our drum instructor, Alex. And we got to work with, I'd say, most of the children in Wotton Bassett. 
We went to five schools, the secondary school, primary schools, infant schools, so a range of ages as well. Um, got to do an experiential day, so every child got to join in and play um, some of the music, which was part of the rehearsal for the actual um, the carnival day itself. And so, you know, we had four and five-year-olds learning the same rhythms as were you know, up to the 15, 16-year-olds. Um, the teachers got involved. The links that we created between the schools, because they had to talk to each other, was fantastic. It gave everyone a chance to decide if they wanted to be involved in a different way. So some children were already involved with Scouts and Girl Guides and such. Um, but those who wouldn't otherwise have had an opportunity were encouraged to join in especially. The Air Board money has been instrumental to the Wotton Bassett Carnival because without it we would not have been able to provide this opportunity to the children of Bassett. And we see that the children coming through are Bassett's next generation so we're trying to give all the opportunities we can to them. And the money funded, the five days funding for training for the, uh, the drummers, all the children really enjoyed it and then as an opportunity for 110 children, actually on Carnival Day itself, the Carnival provided a platform for them to demonstrate their skills to the, the townspeople, which we estimate probably an audience of about 4,000 people, that maybe children wouldn't have had the opportunity to do that under any other circumstances. The drumming project as a whole, the feedback we had from the children, which we asked for from all the schools, has been incredibly positive. Um, we sent a questionnaire out to the schools that the children did, the selected number of children did before the the experience and then afterwards and some of the feedback just is fabulous one child said that we asked them how it felt drumming as a part of a group and performing to the town and they started off saying I thought it was weird because I didn't know anyone and then I got to know someone and I felt a lot better which was the whole emphasis of the project to get children from different schools working and performing together giving them that opportunity they might not otherwise have um, and the one that made me smile most was somebody just said, please can we do it again?